What's up guys, Buster Barnes here and welcome to episode number one of my FIFA 16 Schalke career mode, my first career mode that isn't Chelsea and um, yeah I'm going to have this running alongside my Chelsea career mode as you can see in the Europa League and um, yeah I just kind of wanted to keep things fresh by maybe alternating between these two career modes running alongside each other because um, obviously I do the Chelsea career modes you know, in FIFA 15 so I do want to try and keep some element to these career modes fresh and then after those two are done I'll move on to a different career mode but um, yeah, starting with Schalke will be interesting, never played with them before, never done the past career modes on any FIFAs with them. So I'm um, definitely looking to uh, you know, have an interesting time with this squad. I do put Huntelaar on the transfer list, as you guys can see. He's getting very old, he has a decent value, and I am going to try and bring in a other top-class striker who can do well for our club. And um, yeah, many of the other players I just put on loan. Because um, there wasn't really many others that I wanted to sell. Schalke have actually quite a few um, players that have high potentials. Um, such as Sane. Um, or Guys I think it's pronounced. And um, you know Mayer. Just, just quite a lot of players who I want to play. And I did manage to um, be able to create some sort of sub rotation team as well. So I um, didn't need to buy too many people. But I do make some top additions. As you can see they're going in for Townsend. And um, Abubakar. Um, I did actually go, I was actually going to try and go in for um, Oxide chamberlain as well, which you shall, shall see in a bit. But really wanted this guy, Bubakar, strong, pacey, 23 years old, has a good potential. I think he could work wonders for this team. Um, and um, yeah, it, it takes a while for us to, um, for you know, things to kind of uh, happen and fall through. But, um, you know, we'll see whether that deal happens or not. Another deal, deal whether we see what happens, is this one for Oxide chamberlain Again, another young player. But with a lot of English players, they seem to not really want to move. So, um, we definitely have to put in an effort to try and keep him. Definitely not selling Howard as He's our best um, defender. Crystal Palace want him. Norwich want Boateng. Could you imagine if that happened? But, um, yeah, Boateng will probably be more of a sub player because he is quite old. But um, I will definitely be using him. Please, guys, do leave your ideas below on what you guys want me to do for the transfer January transfer window. We do actually get through the transfer window in this um, episode. But um, if you guys actually want me to buy or sell any players in the next window in January, then, um, yeah, please be sure to let me know. And, um, yeah, Arsenal get back. Chamberlain does not want to leave. We have to um, put in some more money or oh, it's not Chamberlain wasn't want to leave it's Arsenal don't want to let him go put in some more player training here trying to remember to keep doing that and um yeah trying to train each of our players I don't know if whether it's better to just train one player like each five times or play five different players draw that game against Marseille there um in the little invitational cup thing and we'll see how we do in that. I just kind of sim most of the matches because I want to get to the league very quickly. Unlike in my other career mode. Which um, if you haven't seen my Chelsea career mode. Please be, do be sure to check it out. It kind of gives a different element to my career modes. Because they are two very different teams. Win that match 3-0 there. Not too bad if I do say so. And some more training. But um, yeah I didn't have to make as many signings as I thought I would do. I'm actually very happy with the team I've currently got. Um, as you see there we do actually... Um, uh, obtain a Bubakar, I believe that unless I saw that wrong I'm pretty sure we do but again having to put in more offers for Ryan Bertrand and um, as you saw there trying to sign another contract with a Bubakar, who we do eventually sign and you will see him in his first few matches for this team not many mid midweek matches from the start um, so um, not really having to rotate the team that much in this episode but you definitely will see our other players make appearances um, and yeah but it was just proving very hard to get Oxide chamberlain I mean, he kept on saying that he wanted to stay and that he could be persuaded, but I, I literally did not believe that he could be persuaded at all. was looking to go for Bruma instead. However, he is on loan. So I do resort to going for Andros Townsend. He isn't a bad person to go for. He has a good potential and is very young. Plays on the right side, left-footed, um, and I think he could be a very good player for us. And, um, yeah, just trying to obtain him. I'm not really just going for English people, but those are some guys that kind of sprung to mind when I thought of wingers because I really want to play the 4-2-3-1 formation um, with the wingers um, on either side. And, um, obviously, we have people like, um, you know, uh, Clemens and Sane, but, you know, they're quite young. And um, another guy who I add is Buffal. Now, he's a sort of more of a central player, and but I didn't want to take Mayer out, so you actually see him playing on the wing when we do um, get him. Just, you know, spoiler alert, we do actually obtain him, and he is a very nice player. Um, as well as Abubakar and um, 
Oh God, who's the other player bought? Townsend, all proved to be very um, good players, I do have to say. Not disappointed of the signings I've made there. Even more training, just trying to get some players up um, in their potential. But we do go into our first match of the series against Werder Bremen. You guys can see the uh, squad there that we went for. That's basically our first team that we're going to go for for many of our big matches. But um, this game proved to be um, okay. We had some some good attempts. As you can see, a Bubakar there pretty early on hitting the post, which is um, disappointing. But you know, obviously a good showing from him to uh, be able to do that. Um, and just some nice play. I really enjoy actually playing with Schalke. It's actually... Um, very enjoyable, unfortunately can't get much power on the shirt, kind of a bit too over it there, but um, still a good effort, that does call for half time though. Um, running down the wing though here with Townsend, Townsend, the only probably disappointing thing about Townsend is that he doesn't have the, um, he doesn't have the uh, four star skills, but as you can see there he has no problem dribbling through people and it does fall to Abubakar who <laughs> gets his goal disallowed, he's hit the post and had a disallowed goal in his first game, I think he's going to be a great player but obviously for him hopefully um, he can uh, try and get a goal, um, do pass it through there and then he cannot still get a goal, another player that we have is Clemens who I did bring back from loan, who does get the assist there to Abubakar, who gets his first goal in the league for our team and makes it 1-0 away to Werder Bremen. And I was definitely just looking to get the three points here. Nothing fancy um, in an away match. Um, and you guys will see how our first home match goes later. But um, yeah, a great goal taken well by um, Abubakar. First time finish. Nice assist by Clemens there, who's also a very young prospect, who um, will be more of a rotation player as well. Put a man on the line here to block that. It was very late on in the match. So I do always put a player on the line because they do t tend to get them on target a lot. Sane there going up in a few stats as well as our left back. Can't remember his name, but um, I will definitely get to know our players. Do sign Ruth Fowler there, or at least attempt to with the contract signing. But um, yeah, as you can see, we do get him. And, um, you know, he does prove to be a very good player. Five-star skills. Not that I use five-star skills. But, um, you know, four-star skills is definitely enough for me. And I do try to, you know, use them whenever I can. Go into our first home match against Darmstadt. And um, I didn't know much about this team. I don't know if they've just got promoted this season um, in the Bundesliga. Um, do let me know about that. That, this, that little uh, sort of opening bit for the Bundesliga is really cool, by the way. I'm glad EA have kind of got a partnership with the Bundesliga now. It is really, really cool. But we go through here. Abubakar puts through Buffel. Buffel dribbles past the defence. And in the first five minutes of the game, of his debut... For Schalke, he puts the ball in the back of the net. Couldn't ask for a better debut. First five minutes he scores. And he hopefully will prove throughout this season to be a very key asset for this team. As well as Abubakar. Um, but yeah, impressive our signings. Impressive the whole team in general. We've got some very young sort of central midfielders. Who I wasn't 100% sure if they... Um, you know, we're going to be good enough to sort of start, but they do seem to be cut. You know, again, I will remember names. They do get a penalty, unfortunately, which was debatable in my opinion. I thought I got the ball. They do put it away, making it 1 1, which is quite a shame. But, you know, we do still try and uh, show some determination and try and get through. Again, the ball with Townsend, though, he's very good at this. He dribbles past and he forces a save from the goalkeeper. Some very nice work there by Townsend, the English youngster. And um, I think it's just a matter of time before he does get a goal in this series. But we go through here with Abubakar. Abubakar just completely destroys their defence, fires it near post and makes it 2-1. He's just pacey, he's powerful, he's everything you want in a striker. And um, yeah, he just leaves that defender for gone there, goes in for the side, misses. Maybe against a better team it would be different, but um, he definitely um, is proving to be a great player. However, we did obviously have some saves that needed to be enforced um, from our keeper, but we were mainly in control of this match. And, um, yeah, again, go through there with a uh, Matip, of all people. I don't know why he was so far forward. Maybe it's a high attacking work rate. Um, I don't know. Don't know why they're showing the goal technology either. But, um, it was clearly a save. But why Matip was that far forward, I don't know. But it was a decent shot and definitely forced a save from the keeper. And, um, yeah, we cross it back in, though, here with our DM. Fires it to Abubakar. Maybe a little error by their defender there who kind of misses the header. But Abubakar never fails to put the ball in to the back of the net and that DM I think he's called Guys as well takes our free kicks he's a very good player and I'm pretty sure he has quite a good potential as well so that's always something to look forward to <clears throat> 
And um, don't worry, guys, I will be giving like players like Chippy Moting a chance to, um, you know, five. I know he's kind of Schalke's sort of main attacker at the moment, and he's doing quite well. But, um, yeah, don't worry. I think that should have been a penalty, by the way. I don't know what you guys think about that, but that was definitely seemed like Mayer was completely bounded off the ball there by the defender. But um, don't worry, other players will be getting more of a chance, especially when we rotate the team a bit more. Speaking of Chippy Moting, he gets through and unfortunately cannot finish. Um, that shot into the bottom right corner, it does get saved. But um, yeah, that was the end of the match. 3-1 to us, not too shabby ourselves. Again, Sane going up some more. Um, hopefully he reaches 72 soon. But we go into our final match of the episode against Wolfsburg away. This is going to prove to be a tough match, um, as they are one of the Bundesliga's hottest teams. And um, are they doing as well this season? I'm not too sure. They're definitely sort of near the top. Um, Schalke, I believe, won their last game 1-0, I think. I think it might have been... Who was it against? Was it against Werder Bremen or something? Not too sure. But I think Schalke are doing pretty well for themselves in the league at the moment. I will try and keep on top of that. Um, but yeah, nothing really happens first half. Take a free kick there with Geis. I, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'll definitely learn how to pronounce it. But um, yeah, they do go through. And um, yeah... They score, you know, they didn't have many attacks, but then again, neither did we. It was a very end to end sort of game, with not a lot of attempts going off. But um, they do um, put the ball into the back of the net, and, you know, 1 0 to them. And, um, you know, I think maybe Schalke would be losing this in real life, but, you know, it is quite disappointing. And um, when they didn't have loads of shots, but then sort of afterwards they were dominating the match a little bit more. Farming hasn't been on the best form, but I think he's um, okay now because he did have a decent showing in this match, even though he did let in the one goal. But um, yeah, that was the end of the match, and we did lose it 1-0, unfortunately. So we've got a total of six points from three games. You know, not the best, but you know, definitely you know a decent showing, I think. Um, and hopefully we can just get more and get some better results against maybe some of the more bigger teams. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please leave your please leave your thoughts on the um on this series below in the comments. Be sure to check out my Chelsea career mode if you haven't already. Um, please be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more daily FIFA 16 content. See you guys next time and peace.